quantum computing sounds like something out of a Marvel movie, but it's a very real technology and it's completely changing the way that we solve problems. Although quantum computing on its own is really cool, scientists want to make it even cooler. They want to combine it with another technology, one that you probably already know, artificial intelligence. This new branch of technology is called quantum machine learning, and it overcomes a lot of the issues that we're facing with classical machine learning today. Namely, right now, classical machine learning algorithms are just too taxing for reg regular CPUs. The CPUs just can't handle these algorithms. Quantum computing is the solvency here because they have more technological capabilities and they have the actual computational power to handle these algorithms. I'm Anisha Musty and I'm a quantum machine learning researcher. Today we're going to be talking about quantum support vector machine learning. I know, that sounds like a lot of words, but it's a lot simpler than you think. The type of machine learning that quantum computing interacts with is those relying on kernel methods, which is a class of algorithms used for pattern analysis. For example, differentiating between a cat and a dog. Most algorithms under this class only have the ability to differentiate between data in a 2D scale or between two objects. They don't have the ability to separate data in the nth dimension or between multiple objects. However, support vector machines do have this capability. They are able to separate data in the nth dimension. This is why they're the most popular type of algorithm under kernel methods. Support vector machines use a line to separate linear data. They're also able to separate nonlinear data. They do this by utilizing a kernel trick to project data points until a linear hyperplane can be found. But these projections are really hard and really taxing for a classical computer, which is where quantum computing comes in. Quantum computing speeds up support vector machines in two ways. First, they can be used as a discriminator. They shift the data into a quantum state which makes the output quantum particles in superposition. They then input this data into a quantum circuit and get the output, which is the result they need. The second way to use quantum computers is to find the kernel. What that means is, we find how to best map all that input data into a high dimensional space to help separate features in a meaningful way. Using quantum computers to run support vector machines overcomes the obstacles they face with classical computers. It also increases increases their computational power exponentially. This paves ways to a ton of exciting outcomes, like drug discovery, nanotechnology, pattern recognition, classification, and so much more. The best part about it is that we don't even need to wait. The quantum computers that can handle this type of computation exist today. Yeah, today. In fact, we've already began studies in quantum machine learning and had phenomenal results. It's just a matter of getting used to the technology and perfecting it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put my LinkedIn down below and I'll also link my Medium page where you can read all of the articles I write about quantum computing, AI, and of course, quantum machine learning.